Okay, now the readability rate is extremely important in these coming days and ages with Google really focusing on the idea of a article being easy to consume on a quick, efficient basis. It's really gonna be a large portion of the ranking in the future I see. So readability is of course going to come in that because basically everyone agrees that the flesh reading ease test is the best way to determine a readability score that's universally, like I said, accepted. So what is the flesh reading ease score? Well, go ahead and click on Yoast or you can go ahead and just do a little bit of flesh reading ease score. Just type that into Google. You're gonna obviously get a long background history of it. The main idea that you need to know is that scores 90 to 100, easily understood by the average 10 year old. 60 to 70, easily understood by basically teenagers. Zero to 30, it's best understood by university graduates. Now, with that being taken into account, I want you to quickly know right here that my readability score is pretty darn low right here. Um, I have a 59, 60 basically out of what should be 100. So it looks like one subheading is followed by more than the recommended maximum amount of words. That is a huge reason because people, they trim, they uh, kind of like just trim the articles down and they'll read the first few sentences of each sub or headline that you have. So here I am talking about, you know, it's gonna be in a huge title, H1 tag, how to host a webinar like a badass free webinar checklist. They read a little bit, they come across an image, great. They read a little bit more, they come across this, the three phases of a webinar. So one other thing that we can place here is, you're not done just yet. And now we'll have this as maybe like a heading four because it's not nearly as important. And if we come back down, we can click on the I. All right, three sentences contain, contain uh, consecutive sentencing starting with the same word. So when we click on that, it's going to highlight those sentences as we can see, it's just at the bottom, it looks like. So we'll come down here and it says you, you, you. You can also test sending an email reminder at the 10 minute mark, comma, and should also send at least one reminder after. So there we go. Now that raised the re readability up to about an orange, which is going pretty good. So what we have here now is one of the paragraphs contains more than the recommended 150 words. Click on the I, you're gonna find out which one it is. All we gotta do is come right back here. Oh, there we go. <laughs> and there it is. So now it's already up to a green and that raised our score just above that 60 mark. So it became readable for the average teenager. Now, if we wanted to increase it even more, then we're looking to count or, or reduce the number of sentences that contain 20 or more words. So all we're going to do again, click on the I, it'll address which ones that should be. All you have to do, just hit the enter key, you're done. So I'm gonna go ahead, do that a couple more times. We have that one, that one, one up here, all right. There's another. There's another. All right, let's go ahead and find those final ones that we got here. So what we may want to do is, and this has uh, more than 20 words inside of it. Okay, so that reduced it a little bit more. That raised our scores. You can see it's a 62 now. So we're just gonna look at maybe a couple other sentences that we can adjust. OK. 
okay. So now it's bringing it back up, like I said, there you go. We could go in maybe a few more. And this may not seem like it's the most interesting, but that's what flesh score reading is all about. It's kind of breaking up the text so it's not so monotonous. As you can see, I have a lot of uh, spacing. Usually every two, three sentences, you wanna have a new paragraph. Every about 100 words, you wanna have a new sub or headline. You don't want sentences that have more than 20 words inside of them. It doesn't matter if you use complicated words, it's that those words are of course very easy to consume in the sense of yeah this was one really complex you know we're a uh, sentence based on the diatomactic structure of a sulfur molecule or something like that whatever that is yes those are complicated words but the sentence structure in which you use those complex words makes it easier to understand and that's what flesh scores are trying to really um, do for you it's not the com complexity of the nature that you're or the subject that you're talking about but the way that it's actually talked about so once you have this you can hit publish now as you can see I have a good readability score good SEO score and I have 530 words so this is a pretty good article this is something that is more likely to rank for host a webinar than almost anything else that is you know written just generically and doesn't have a great flesh score that breakup um, you know it doesn't have an image that's been named after the keyword along with its alternative text named after that so we want to follow all of these ideas here and make sure that all of our scores again are landing in that green by optimizing for all 13 of these things and when I say 600 words it's not that you can't make two three thousand word posts they are more likely to rank inside of Google but for starting out do be easy on yourself and just try and put out content that's over 300 words and you're at least getting green lights on all of your posts once you do that you'll be a lot more likely to rank inside of google and of course get much more organic traffic to your website and the products that you're looking to offer to these individual prospects